Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kyle Monahan, and I'll be going through geo-referencing in QGIS 2.18.0, the newest version of QGIS, a geographic information system program. This is a program that allows you to bring in layers of information that have geographic or spatial information encoded in it and visualize them in your computer. Today, we're going to go through geo-referencing. Georeferencing is the process of taking an image or a raster, which is a uh, type of layer in QGIS, uh, and bring it in and referencing the geographic points which correspond to that image. For example, if I have a historical map and I can find where some of the rivers are or the cities, but I cannot find or, or I do not know the exact um, reference system w with which that map was made, I can scan it and bring it into a GIS program using this geo-referencing technique. We will do that today. I'm assuming that you have either installed QGIS on your system or will refer to some of the videos I posted below in the link um, to install QGIS. If you have a Mac, it, it is a bit longer of a procedure but it is possible. Uh, it just needs a few more frameworks to be run on, the, on, on Mac OS. This tutorial is mainly for students in UEP 279 and ENV 166, uh, Scott Horsley's Water and um, Water Resources and Policy course. So if you have any questions uh, throughout this, feel free to post in the comments below or, or send me an email directly. So to start, um, we're going to go through and install some plugins here. So I've actually already installed them. The first one we're going to install is the GeoReferencer GDAL. Um, so this is, will allow us to GeoReference. Uh, it may be in, in your package already, but I just want to make sure you have it. So if you um, don't have it, you can just go and uh, click on it like so, and it, click Install. This would actually say Install. Okay, now I can close that. Let's go in and a second one. So you can feel free to pause at any point if, um, you'd like to install them just click on the video to pause and you'll the second one we want to install is quick map services and so this is a um, based on open layers and it will bring in information about layers that uh, that we can work with as, as a base map right um, so let's bring that in so just click install down here and then we can X out of this once it's installed, it'll come up. Uh, so here I'll click reinstall so you can see it. It'll come up with something like this um, where it, it'll start downloading data and it will install quick map services for me. And it's complete. Great. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go here and open up Quick Map Services. Now, as you can see, I have a, a lot of um, services here. So what, how to get all of these extra services or additional services, all you have to do is go to Settings. So that would be Web, Quick Map Services, then Settings. And from Settings, you just go to More Services, the tab up here. Right? And you can click Get Contributed Pack. And what this is, of course, it says, it warns you here that they're not validated. Um, but this will pull, and I'll re-download it just to show you. Okay. Um, this will allow us to pull more information, including um, Google Satellite information, which is what we want today. So I click on Google Satellite, and here, as you can see, I have a great um, Google Satellite image. And I can go over here and just zoom in to our area here. Um, pan up. All right. Okay, so and you can see this is some nice satellite imagery. Perhaps I would want to add a, um, a Google Roads. If I want to do that, now again, this is the table of contents for layers panel, so I want to drag this one up, and I can see it now, um, because they render in the order that they um, occur on there, right? So let's go on up. Right. 
Okay, and so you can see how you can manipulate these just like you would Google Maps or Google Earth, um, just as normal. Okay, so the next step we have, we have these base maps now, um, and we've gone and added the Google material. So now we can start georeferencing. And so first I want to check to see um, the properties here, and we can see Let's see, we can see where they're getting the content there. You can change transparency. So if I wanted to make these um, slightly transparent so you can see the, uh, the satellite imagery below, I can do that. So that, that might be something nice if you have, say, something like land use data that you want to see through and look at satellite information. Again, you know, if you look, um, the coastlines are very different in how we map those. And so it really does depend on the layer you're using um, for that. So I think I'll leave it like this for now um, and we can let's see get going to our area of interest which is in Boston specifically in Cambridge alright so here we have Boston um, and what we'll do now is we'll start the georeferencing plugin so we're gonna go to roster then georeferencer then click georeferencer at this point we're going to um, open our raster image and in this case we'll want to click all files and make sure all files is clicked and then we'll want to bring up the um, historical map the map that we're working with now this is the hard part because we don't actually know the coordinate reference system that this map was um, was made in what I would highly suggest, I'm going to use the, um, the, the default value to show you what the default value would do to your image, possibly. But um, you can use any one. I would suggest looking up on Stack Overflow. That's S-T-A-C-K, over, so O-V-E-R, and then F-L-O-W. Um, I would suggest going on that website and looking around to see people with similar data or similar maps. How did they do it? Right, and so let's just click OK and move in and now we see we have this nice uh, map point and now what we do at this point is add points that we know the coordinate system for um, to this map and so I have a few of them that I'll start adding now but the way to do this actually is to go and find something like a river or a lake or for in this case I'm using street intersections that I know haven't changed by looking them up manually in historical um, books a as well as um, on to pull the uh, coordinates um, a lot of times I use Google Maps or or another uh, mapping program that you can get coordinates again in Google Maps if you right click and go to what's this it'll give you information on that you can also pull um, decimal coordinates from the URL of a of a location as well um, so what I'll do here is just go through and put in some values. So this is um, things that I pulled off of Google Maps, just like I was saying um, before. And of, of course, be careful if you're north and east. Okay.
and just one more here. Okay, and so here are the values that we put in. It's good to just be sure that you didn't drop anything there. Um, and now we go to settings, transformation settings. Okay, and we're going to use linear this time. Uh, we want to put an output raster. We'll actually call this historical map. Um, we can call it geo reference. Okay. Um, we're not going to compress. We do want to load it in QGIS when we're done. So um, what we're going to do is just geo-reference this map and bring it into our current coordinate system. However, note, remember, we don't know the current coordinate system, and so we want to make sure that, the, um, that we're careful with this. It'll come up. Um, we can start running the transformation now. It'll come up with a progress bar. It'll ask us to select the... Um, CRS for the, the new layer that we're making here. Um, we can click OK, but it is something to think about when we're moving back to this. Um, and if we zoom to this, as you can see, because we um, because we didn't um, specify the same coordinate system that these were in, right? We're, it was unable to um, bring in those points exactly. And you can see that the uh, map itself is a bit um, skewed, right, because all of the points weren't perfectly matched on there. So what we would need to do is um, reproject into a coordinate system that is more reasonable. However, um, that depends on your project. So you can reach out to me, you can reach out to um, uh, other people, your resources are a little different depending on whether you're at Harvard or Tufts, um, but you can certainly ask me about coordinate systems and what that means for uh, your project. Um, but one thing I would suggest is that you think about that before you go through. However, the process itself for doing this won't change. Only the coordinate system, um, the coordinate reference system, CRS, that you select um, as your tree referencing will change. And I'll go through another um, tutorial which will show you how to choose a coordinate system and it, it's uh, an important um, thing with to know about when working in a GIS program. So that's basically how you georeference. Again, you would want to be a little more careful with the, your choice of coordinate system. This is the common endpoint that students get to and then ask me, what am I doing wrong? Um, so please click below and check out my other videos if you'd like to see the, um, the coordinate reference video. Uh, feel free to send me a message or, or a link below or comment below. Um, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And uh, good luck with uh, GIS. All right. Bye.